Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today I have another beer from Divine Barrel Brewing Company out of Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this label. This is the worldwide collaboration started by Other Half um, for the service industry during COVID-19. And uh, this is the Divine Barrel one. So they all have this same logo. But then on the back side, oops, on the back side, uh, the breweries make their own. You see there, it has a Divine Barrel logo. Um, this is the, I think the third one I've done on the channel. I did uh, Resin Culture and High Branch already. This is the third one that came out of those three. Um, and actually, so those two in Divine Barrel and Heist all did a thing where they took like one can of each of them and were selling mixed four packs, which I wish they had done that from the get-go because I probably would have bought one or two of those as opposed to a whole four pack of each one, but that's besides the point. Um, but I, I, I like the idea that they did that, um, you know, and get more people to buy it too. Uh, but so most of the ones that people did were uh, Paisy IPAs. I think this is probably the same uh, grain bill because it's also 6.5 ABV. Um, but this is the West Coast, uh, which is, you know, what Divine Barrel is known for when it comes to hoppy beers in uh, Charlotte. So, I've not had this before, um, but I'm pretty pumped because all the classic IPAs they've done recently have been really good. So, I'm assuming and hoping that this is uh, no different. So, we'll see. Might be sacrilege and I'm drinking... Uh, this divine barrel beer out of uh, a high range glass. But. <clears throat> so, it's one thing that is really interesting about their uh, West Coast IPAs is the malt bill is so, like the SRM is so light. I mean, this basically looks like a Pilsner um, with a really nice fluffy head. It looks like a Pilsner head too, um, but it's interesting because even they, one of the double IPAs they did was li literally the same color, and I just like I couldn't believe that they were able to get so much hop flavor and keep it as dry as it was without being like incredibly bitter or or uh, boozy because there was like hardly any malt body to it at all, or at least not like caramel malt. It was all like two row Pilsner malt. So this looks like it's probably gonna be the same. We'll see. Yeah, see, I don't think it says, and that, that was the other thing I was, when I was doing the uh, high branch and uh, resin culture ones, those were both hazies, and they tasted significantly different, and I know they both have, both have their same house character, but I'm pretty sure, like, that shows that there's a lot going on in the beer besides the hops, because if they were the same hops, it definitely didn't come off that way. Um... And to me, that's it. this is similar because this is coming off like really dank and resinous. And I don't remember either one of them being like that either. Um, there is a little bit of like peachy and pineapple, but it's also very, um, very dank and earthy. It smells great. So, I might take that back. This does kind of taste like um, the high branch one. You know, it's cleaner, of course, because what it is. Um, but the hop profile is, is similar to that. And I just drank that yesterday, so I, I have a fairly recent recollection of what that was like. Um, but this is, this is a good uh, example of you know, West versus East Coast, or, you know, not traditional East Coast, but the hazy New England stuff. Uh, I think this is pretty similar in, in flavor, but this is just so much cleaner and easy to drink. Like, I I really do like, I like the High Branch one a lot. I liked it better than the Resident Culture one. Um, but I like this one better than either one of them because it's so light and easy to drink. This really does remind me of uh, 
I've been saying this the last couple reviews I did of their West Coast IPAs. I mean, they're honestly some of the best West Coast IPAs that I've ever had. I'm not even, I'm not exaggerating. Um, in my opinion, they're up there with uh, Fathead stuff and Russian River, like Pliny the Elder and, you know, um, Blind Pig. Um, so flavorful, incredibly light and incredibly dry. Uh I mean, like I said, you can tell there's no caramel caramel flavor in this. Look how light this is. It's crazy. Um, yeah, this is this is fantastic. This is definitely better. My, I don't want to say better because it's all personal opinion when it comes to, you know, if they're all good, then it's it's, it's definitely personal opinion versus the quality of how it was brewed. Um, but I, I just prefer this style more. Excuse me. Like this, those, I'd say the high branch one was definitely more drinkable than the resin culture one, but I feel like this, I could, the only different, the only, the high branch one was probably like less, obviously it was less bitter than this. Um, so maybe, like I probably like the flavor in this one better, but I feel like that one I might be able to drink more of because it was less bitter and you know, like the bitterness on this might wear on me eventually um but i doubt it because it's not it's still not super bitter it's just appropriate for the style and the fact that it's like very drying is good too because it makes you want to go back and drink more because it dries out your mouth um I mean, yeah, the Mopo is so light. Like, if this is described as a dry hop pilsner. There's an acid measure. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry, I'm going to keep going with this. I don't know why that randomly came on. But uh, my t TV came on, even though I'm positive. Uh, but yeah, it's the, the flavor is very resinous. Lot, lots of uh, pineapple and... A little bit of a uh, grainy malt in the background, but it's a uh, really, really good. I apologize for this in the background, but I don't have a pause button on this new thing, so I gotta keep going with it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a buy for me. Again, I don't know if I'd be able to buy it because it's a one-off thing for this uh, COVID-19, but um, yeah, I would for sure buy this again. So I think that's all I got in this one, though. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.